Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start, well, or in the middle of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux. Now, it's 1940, July 25th, but we've been playing as a constitutional American Republic, Civil War is far over, and uh, Canada's gone as you can see, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, the Civil War's already over, but Armstrong is dead, our current leader Armstrong is dead. Uh, but W. Armstrong is dead of the young clan, stormed the headquarters of the Church of Zion while he was speaking with heads of the faith. They're unceremoniously gunned down. The leader of the group are the youth leaders of the young KLIN, who survived the former purges, George Lincoln Rockwell and Francis Parkyaki. Already they are announcing their intention to restore the nation and bring peace and stability to who what? Americans everywhere while warning enemies of the new regime that they would not be met with mercy if they stood in their way, but... Which shall lead the nation must be decided within the inner, inner circle. Now, I've got support for both sides to do this side. And actually, I had to go down um, with Armstrong's focus tree. So, wow, it's, God, it's like he's all heck. So, I did the Lord, and, we'll, and I've not actually done this off, on screen before, but you know what? I'll show you this in another campaign. But let's go with George Lincoln Rockwell. Look at this guy. He's a young leader. He's a uh, command and charisma. Daily army XP, not bad. So we can't do the rightful place, but we can come down here and do the National Awakening. Our people are riding from the inside. Western civilization itself is in danger of dying with a whimper. To recover th from this, George Lincoln Rockwell believes we must identify completely with the race. Through the application of the laws of nature, we'll come to love our own kind once more, and through his love, this love, we'll do what must be done to cleanse our society of its afflictions. The laws of the tribe reaching the masses. That masses look pretty good. The banner of the Republic, now that we are independent. We must use a banner that we fly against traitors. Some of our members identify with the current flag and we should keep it as is, however. The young KLIN is mostly divided into three factions. Some wish to see a red flag that would be more representative of a certain clan symbolism. <coughs> While there's one traditional looking flag, they have still clan influence. Finally, there are those who want a more traditionally American flag with the clan influence, which should look like the current banner, which we do have the, the cross and the sword. Um, Constitutional American Republic, Wizardom of America, and Peter Wizardom, Second American Republic. A design the founders would choose. Now, I don't know Rockwell that well. But I kind of want to go with this one. A, des a design the founders would choose. I kind of, even though I do like the current banner as is, let's go with something like this. Oh, that looks really nice. It reminds me of the Enclave. Uh, reaching the masses. Unlike his predecessors, Rockwell understands the importance of propaganda. He understands we must educate and convert the masses to a cause if we are to succeed. Our people will need a purpose, a mission, a fight, and we will give it to them, especially our youth. All will be committed to a cause of whites, and together we will be strong once more. The liberal retreat. Liberals of the nation rioting for papers such as the various times are denouncing the regime are increasingly being killed due to resisting arrest or arrested for their connections to anti-government extremists. Even Democrats such as Richard Russell Jr. are feeling the pressure stepped down from public life and a laundry list of liberals who slipped through arrest after our initial victory, such as Jesse H. Jones are being arrested alongside the various youth activists organizing against us, especially in the West. A bullet dodged. Very nice. As we do have quite a few divisions, um, and most of our focus, well, I guess air doctrine is not completely done. Naval doctrine is not quite there, but our land doctrine is completely done because we did go superior firepower as well. Um, at this point, National Waking, we're done. Purging the Agents of Jacob. Um, Laws of the Child, let's do that one. The Agents of Jacob were the counter espionage units of the Armstrong regime. These agents were intelligent, highly resourceful, and zealous in their devotion to Armstrong. If we want to stabilize our new regime, we must eliminate any remaining agents. Now, with that in mind, I've done. I, I've played this for like three hours off screen already. We did all the Invisible Empire. Uh, oh, we can do the Covenant as well. Oh, that's kind of cool. We might as well do that too. Um, the uh, pa Pass Laws. Uh, the Armstrong government has been good at issuing pass books to African Americans throughout the Commonwealth in anticipation of the pass laws taking effect next year. This law is similar to the older internal passport used during the time of the Confederacy to help identify free men and slaves. The Church of Zion strongly discourages. <clears throat> And he compares to past laws and is defending the laws necessary to preserve the nation's Anglo-Saxon Israeli heritage. This has resulted in numerous African Americans being forbidden from traveling outside of the South with plans to extend zoning into the rest of the Republic in order to intensify segregation. A policy in line with Armstrong's fervent opposition to race mixing in most forms. Papers, please. ODP and church churches crack. With the purge of the remnants of the young clan's youth league that refused to join the wars of Elijah, the youth leaders Francis Parker Yaki and George Lincoln Rockwell are dead. Oh, wait, what? The ODP has felt increasing pressure to either retire, join ranks, or otherwise keep quiet. Even former ODP leader John E. Rankin has kept quiet despite his known earlier opposition to our faith, and the Southern Baptist Convention has adopted planks adopting heavy elements of Christian identity after the Lee Rutland Scarborough was pressured to stand down by federal agents. Other churches that were once stubborn or either following their lead or the pastors are being arrested, notably these, those calling Armstrong a false prophet such as Conrad Bergendorf. Victory after victory. Uh, he's still here. He better stay here. I spent three hours getting this guy. 
We have Christian education. We've got organized social resistance, economic aftermath of the civil war still, scattered minimum resistance, McNarney's plan, which is pretty good, uh, non-conformist regulations, we have mob activity, unfortunately, white welfare, uh, black nationalist resistance, black laws, we also have Know Nothing Act, as well as work camps. I love camps. I love them a lot. They make us prosperous, because we don't have enough uh, military factories, but what else is new? And we're out of artillery. Which does suck. So, other than that, um, Chicago Massacre. Demonstration of protesters made up of an unlikely alliance of Lutherans, socialists, and liberals joined together to denounce the regime from their soapboxes. Shortly after barricading the inner cities of Chicago. With their lack of arms, however, the State Guard broke up the rally, resulting in the deaths of over 65 heretics. Shortly afterwards, a riot broke out, resulting in over 1,300 further deaths. While well, managed to retake the city, it seems socialism has not yet been broken in, in Chicago. <clears throat> Um, the wars of Elijah would prefer martial law to finish a job, whereas the agents of Jacob believe counter-espionage and targeted assassinations would uh, better do the trick. Well, since we're still down here, we got to purge agents of Jacob. We're not going to favor them, then. We'll all favor the warriors. Then we need to get to the American truth as well. The American truth. And we'll do a lot of this stuff, too, and of course we'll be back on the world stage. Uh, our Western brethren we can't do, because Canada literally went to war with us during the Civil War. Which is America is not... Bad. Look to the Rex Adler. Ambitions of the state. Now, I do want to do Yaki as well, so we might do this twice. We'll see. Puppet war goals? I'm not a big puppeter. I prefer just directly. Direct rule from DC. Yeah. That's the way we like it. Um, honestly, I kind of feel like taking out Mexico right now, too. Re reach the masses, though. Back on the world stage. Would not be bad. <clears throat> Purge agents of Jacob. Oh, uh, yeah. Did I read this one? I can't remember. I probably did. The counter espionage units of the Armstrong regime. They're intelligent, highly resourceful, and zealous in their devotion to Armstrong. If we want to stabilize the new regime, we must eliminate any remaining agents. And sure, the Church of Zion. As the main outlet of Herbert Armstrong and his men, the Church of Zion was the primary source of spirituality for the regime. As ideology to us, the Christian faith, and even some whisper that it serves Judaism. We can allow this. We will wipe the Church of Zion from the face of the earth by whatever means necessary. I get the event ending Christian identity. This one's breaking the agents of Jacob, while Christian identity has gained steam. It's still a minority of believers, true believers. Of course, most heretics are too fearful or, or unorganized to truly stop it, but in some isolated towns in the Midwest, especially Illinois, Minnesota, and Nebraska, locals are not only refusing to shift their ideology or to give in to the government, but have taken up arms. The town leaders of these revolts have formed a loose Granger alliance, uh, though they have few, a few means of aiding one another discreetly besides coordinated attacks in the wards of Elijah and State Guard. Armstrong will prefer to make an example of the revolting townies by wiping them off the map, although some of the cabinet thinks merely taking taking them back would do. Break them, destroy them. We want to destroy them. Because why not? That's what we do here. Followed up with back on the world stage. Now the position of the world power has been restored to us, it's time to figure out where we fit in the scheme of things. Um, industrial contracts or contacts. One area where both socials and industrials outnumber us was, of course, industry itself. Military and industrial contracts will help rectify this for the future. Army War College. Our war colleges throughout ODP territory were sadly outdated and still need to be updated to focus on advancements in technology, namely artillery, and how to prepare, probably prepare for it. And taking the fight abroad. With a uh, victory at home, we don't have to prepare to take the fight to whatever shore we need to take, to whatever mountain we have to cross, and against whatever foe we need to face, because I do want to get that research slot, because we still only have three, which is god awful. So bad. Uh, I'll keep grabbing that, though. Yeah, we're, we're trying to focus on getting a navy here. Oh, well, we've got quite a few carriers now. We're really trying to focus on getting more improved cruisers, so. Nice, there you go. Do as much as you possibly can. Oops, not bad. USS Detroit. Punish agents of Jacob. Let's down here. Go and build up some radar stuff here once we, once we, because we, we're going to invade Mexico. If you, if you play as America, you have to invade Mexico. It's just, it's written in the rule book. Uh, we only have six screens, which is not good. We still need a little bit more arty. Of course, we could use more military factories, period. Here, go down to five. That definitely helped out. We got plenty of guns. That doesn't really matter right now, which is pretty good. Well, we got to read about breaking the agents of Jacob. Of course, we're only on partial mobilization. Um, but yeah, well, our Air Force is, it's all right. Oh, what do we have here? Cass? I love me the cast. <clears throat> Breaking the agents of Jacob. 
The agents of Jacob were established under the Armstrong regime as a secret police and espionage organization to enforce uh, Christian identitarian rule, committing horrific crimes against our own and hindering our coup in the process. Now that we are in power, we have the opportunity to exact revenge on this scum and bring them just bring them to justice for abuses in the Armstrong era. But our government is divided on whether we should allow the more junior agents, many of whom will only join to advance their careers, to go free and transfer to loyal NDWL and clan groups, or simply bring the entire organization to justice. Let low linking members pay off, often in exchange for loyalty, purge the lot. I kind of like purges. I kind of like the purpose. Military research. After so many decades of isolation and the devastation of the Civil War, our nation lacks capacity for military research and development of other great powers of the world. Let's begin to remedy this unfortunate reality. And now we have the trial of the Federalist Generals. If you'd like to read about both of these, please go right ahead. Um, they're pretty much exactly the same. They're pretty much every single one of campaign. Do we spare them? Because they fought against us. Spare them. You get nothing. Discharge them. Exile is the only thing the traitors deserve. Hmm... Well, we did exile people before. You know what? We'll go exile both. Why not? We'll be fair. And of course, we're trying to get back on the world stage. Now, I'll be honest, like, <sighs> George Lincoln Rockwell, and when eventually we went to Yaki as well at the time of this recording, um, I wouldn't say that they're, they're, I don't know if they're really too ambitious. It seems like they might be, like, kind of Fortress America. I don't want to go with right now, look to the Reichs Adler just because, uh, <laughs> uh, do we, I don't want to join the German pack just because, well, they're not very, uh, they're social democrats. <clears throat> It's not necessarily a bad thing, actually. But at the same time, do I really want to join them? We can't join them because we'd be pretend autocrats anyways, but you know, whatever. I'm um, thinking for now, because with George Lincoln Rockwell, we'll go with ambitions of the state and manifest destiny. So we can continue making sure that the North and South America are a place for uh, just us. Destiny of the Anglo world. And then maybe we're going to play a Yaki. Maybe we'll go with Fortress America. Really focus on ourselves. And there's a trial of the Pacific Generals as well. If you're into that, please go ahead. We're going to keep them all pretty much all the same. As much as I want to have these guys, bye-bye. It's probably the ambitions of the state. America was not meant to stand on the sidelines of the old European nations and rising Asian countries around the world. Our own empire will put the Romans to shame. I'll begin to prepare for foreign conquest for the good of our people. And really, I just, like most campaigns, focus on North and South America. Now, why did I send volunteers to the Commune of France? We don't like them. The reason I did that is because I want to keep a counterbalance against the German Empire because they're not fighting the Russians. And, uh... You know, it keeps everyone else really, really busy and occupied, so that's why I sent guys down here. No other reason, really. Um, yeah, keep make sure the Germans are very busy, that they don't get very strong, even though it doesn't make any sense. Actually, why did I send these guys? You know, we get to call them. Now that I think about it. Oh, if that was Algiers Conference. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, just keep these guys busy. Or just keep them busy. I mean, I don't really care too much. Besides, these guys are losing enough that these, the Germans will be taking a whole bunch, and I just want more army XP and air XP at this point. So, does it make sense for George Lincoln Rockwell to do that? Probably not. Wow. This is a mess down here. Holy crap. But eventually we'll go with ambitions of the state and manifest destiny so we can go to war with Mexico. It looks like maybe, yeah, United Mexican States. That'd be the idea. That'll be a good idea, actually. Uh, we have enough divisions for it, of course. So, let's do it like this. Go and get on the line, y'all. Tons of divisions, tons and tons and tons and tons of divisions. Come in France capitulated, that's exactly why we did that. And now, can we recall our divisions? We should be able to. There you go. Can we not recall them? Oh, we did. Okay, cool. Yeah, ambitions of the state. Yeah, we can do Western Brethren or look to the right cat. Reich's out of there, so we'll do that one. And of course, Manifest Destiny. Our place and rule is not with the old world. America was meant to rule North America, and so it shall. Let's have the treacherous Canadians and the syndicalist influence Mexicans at once and use its resources for our own people. So you guys are uh, fighting these guys. Do we like each other? National populist? Yeah. You're not Ebola, but you know what? We'll send guys to you. Limited by two. Um, if anything, actually, we have some mountaineers. Send them with Jeb Stewart, that's fine. Three fifty six. We don't have enough military factories as is though. I really want a big old navy because I like a big navy. I like a huge navy. Lower by one. We maybe want to get some medium tanks, even though we don't really need them. We do have four research slots now, which is very nice though. Hey, another carrier. Holy crap. That's that's a few too many carriers, to be honest with you, but whatever. Four is fine, but anything more than four is too much. I've got, like, no planes. So, 
There's those guys. Fighters, yeah, yeah. Those are fine. Strap bombers are okay. And war fighters. You need a lot more of everything. That's pretty much it. Just more of everything, please. You did all right, Jeb. But time for these guys to try something else out. Let's get ready to go to war with America. Or not America, but Mexico. We'll probably make this in two parts. This is the first episode. Next episode will be us uh, taking out the rest of South America. And then that'll be pretty much it. The black intellectuals denounce us. From exile laundry list of black intellectuals or and cynicals or liberal nations have denounced us. With Harry Haywood writing Neo Segregation, a weapon of national organization or national oppression. Um, which fo a follow up to his lynching, a weapon of national oppression, which proposes to demonstrate what Haywood calls reactionary terror that has possessed the U.S. even more formally than before. While W.E. Du Bois and Marshall, Thurgood Marshall have attempted to collect support for rebels in foreign nations and written against us as well. They failed in the former task, but succeeded in the latter, though only some of their literature has made it through our bands. Darn them. Who cares about them? They're insignificant. They're just hanging out on the line. <clears throat> and we're only here temporarily. How do you guys still exist? Nice. Carrier fighters, better carrier fighters would be great, 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 great. And it's pretty laggy now, but you know what else is new? Close out everything I have on screen. Actually, what I have on my second screen, because I have a dual monitor setup. And the one my monitor is is literally just a TV, but whatever. Make more guns, which is fine. Way more ships would be nice. Way more planes would be nice. We do have enough rubber. Okay, we are importing some chromium. Alright, so just kind of hanging out for now. What if you guys were to go down here? Oh, uh, you're attacking, actually. Just kind of hanging out. Many race conscription, but we're on volunteer only. Might as well do that for now. Ambitions of the state, manifest destiny. Get ready, and supplies a little bit overloaded right now in some areas here. Not good. Got a couple air bases here and there. But once we go to war, these guys. Hopefully, we can get to war economy, but might not. Ever manifest destiny, lead the Boers. So the, so the holdings, the Quebec issue. The Catholics of Quebec are taking a serious issue with their Catholic related stances and are weeding out of potential cynicalists among those who sympathize with the commune, but many of them join the beloved commune via a controlled deportation campaign. Even though it seems like we just got to the front lines here to help these guys out. Oh well. Actually, didn't even send them planes? Maybe not. Oh well, whatever. Here. Wow, 1.4 months. Jesus. Quebec back issue. Press for Greenland. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Let's keep doing some of this stuff over here. Um, destroy the Church of Zion. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. Ending Christian identity. Let's see what we can do here. Should do relatively okay. No guarantee. They have up to 40 divisions. We have 91, which is very nice. Uh, we cannot go to war economy, which does suck as well. What do we have to war with Costa Rica? They're allied to the Entente. That is not good. You guys are allied with him. You are a bunch of syndicalists, which means we do have to kill you off. Which means you do need to go to war with the Third International. It looks like they did force defense, which is very nice, actually. They already lost over 58,000 soldiers. Very nice, very nice. Guerrilla fighters, not really worth it. Anything over here, scavenger, eh. Seems okay. Oh, Barcelona. Entente. Ooh, actually, we could probably go to war with you guys. If anything, we probably need to invade there. Are these guys worth invading with? Probably not. Black South Carolinians. I'll try that. Very cool. There you go. Mountaineers are... Okay, they're not great. goes well. And... Oh, we don't even have Mountaineers, huh? Right, put some Marty on them then. That'll make them feel nice and strong. At least stronger. Douglas Bombers. Nice. Well, that's already 1941. Yeah, upgrade you guys. Nope. 
Is this not? Oh, we didn't get this stuff yet. Okay. I thought I did this earlier. Well, let's go this one. Dive bombing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's much better. Ah. There we go. Now it's nice. Destroy the Church of Zion. Uh, the laws of the tribe. There are five basic laws that govern group living in the animal world. There is the law of biological integrity, loyalty to one's race, the law of territory, private property, the law of leadership by the strongest, the law of status, the natural place of every individual, and the law of motherhood for women. The blacks and Jews follow these laws, so why can't we? So we doubt the laws of the tribe and dominate, dominate society as we were always destined to be. Or destined to. We go to war with these guys, do this. They're still repairing, unfortunately. It's taking forever. But now we can probably head on out. Carry fighters, naval bombers. Um, they're more than halfway done, though. And a Christian identity. Christian identity, strong, Armstrong's heretical and degenerate cult, which he sought to enforce on America, was officially banished early after its coup. With unease at its ab absurd doctrines. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> having motivated many people to align themselves with the pooch in the first place. However, the church remains influential in some areas of the country, particularly the Deep South, where Armstrong focused recruitment efforts in the Civil War. As the only undermined of government in the long term, so we must find a means to stamp in our Christian identity for good. To this end, some of the government believe that we should force all officials to pledge themselves against Armstrongism and generally tighten legal repression in the institution. While this favored an intensified propaganda campaign involving greater exposure for abuses under Armstrong's government, although this may implicate some of our own. Against both these groups, many in the military would rather we simply instituted violent crackdowns against known Christian identitarians. Intensify legal suppression of Armstrong's cult. Ooh. Weirding stuff out. Expose crimes to the people. Ooh, that's actually not bad, too. Side with the military and crush Armstrongism for good. Mm. Expose the crimes. I like that one. I like that idea. I like exposing crimes. Fall of Mexico City. They've lost 153,000. Nice. Now we can go in. Very good, very good, very good. Of course, with these guys, he's a he's a flight tech manager. Sort efficiency, efficiency. So it was really good. Really, really, really good, actually. And where's the capital? Is it over here? No. Kingston, eh? Head on out. Nice. Can you guys get down here? No. Ah, naval stuff. Good. Keep working on it. Alright, so with that in mind, have you guys go from about here to Bay Kingston. And then, one, two, three. From here. San Juan. No. Uh, maybe down there. Uh, you can both invade both sides. It's fine. It'll be alright. Mexico is really not doing very well as they should not. Propaganda, we're all right for now. Nope. We're good. Ah, uh, all those divisions dying for nothing. Got a couple of days, or really two weeks left, if that's the case. It is, of course, 1941. We could get better ships, or we could just get better naval invasion support. Hey, Mexico, thank you for playing. And we'll go down this way. We will invade them, of course, like normal. And do that, too, and get some uh, ports here. That'd be nice. Hey, to Mexico. After a long campaign across Mexico, we finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Mexico City is now in our hands. We must assign the future Mexico. There's only really one answer. Do we have any weekly change? It goes down by 1%. Oh. Oh, it's because of this thing. Yeah, it's fine. Out of laws of tribes, American truth. The truth of America is that our founders were unlike us, like us, nationalists and conservatives. They named created a authoritarian republic. We stand for such a system as our founders did, and fascists will be our symbol. The founders established fascists as the American soap because they knew that we could only keep our society together through unity. The American people were united under the strong leadership of George Lincoln Rockwell and his national conservatism. 
Let's see. Better political power. Better division training time. More 3% more recruitable population. That's nice. Stability goes down a little bit. Overall, it's very nice. And this seems very, a little more isolationist, but whatever. A reverse the decay. If only, man. If only. Weekly stability does go up by 0.1, which is not very much, but that's better than nothing. We have until 1941. Can't go to war. We have a truce until June Reno, which is final laws of biological integrity, though. The NDWL has declared in the new scientific approach that the first law of the group living in the animal world is that of biological integrity. This law says that one must hold an absolute uncompromising loyalty towards the group. This loyalty comes from love and is vehemently against any outsiders who try to mix with the racial group. Well, maybe it's clear that this natural law is nothing but pseudo-scientific nonsense meant to justify prejudice. Regardless, we must implement this law for a tribe without loyal members. There's no tribe at all, and the same is true of our society. The creator, the creator insists on purity. By God, we're going to be pure no matter what. Yucatan. Oh, look, there's London. Oh, boy. My germs are done really well. They're very strong. I didn't do anything to them this campaign. The law of territory. Unlike the Marxist and Bile syndicalists, we all private property in high regard. After all, what is? What, uh, one of the most important goals of a gang or a tribe it is to take a turf, a place for the group to reside in. The American manifestation of this idea is through private property, and we must defend this property fiercely. Those who follow this law has been titled nationalist, and it is this ideology that we must follow. America is for the Americans, while we have nothing against the other gangs of the world. It's our land. We must defend it fiercely. We hope to uh, hold it in the long run. We will defend our turf. You bet we will. And we're going to add a little bit of new turf, too. With some coffee in our hands. The law of leadership. In the animal kingdom, leaders are never chosen by vote. No. And these groups, the leaders are chosen through national selection. The strongest and best individuals in each group rise to be the leaders, and the rest of the group follows a hierarchy beneath them. We cannot allow the vile mob rule that characterizes democracy. Instead, the toughest among us will lead, and through this understanding, we will be widely loved by our people, based in order in our society. Nice. A thousand. And eh, my bad for cooking. It is what it is, but you know, George Lincoln Rockwell is doing doing God's work. After that one, um, I do want to do um, rebuilding the country because we really need to. A long struggle to push through the Federalist and Syndicalist forces in America has left the victorious Union state economically drained. The hand that unifies the country can either promote deficit spending regime or an austere uh, program uh, that limits direct intervention in the market. The law of status. Similar to how our society must have its leader, the other members must have their place as well. This law entails the natural order of ability of each and every person in society. They all find their rightful place under the leaders, and each man will be right respect for his loyalty. Farmers, laborers, soldiers, factory workers, it matters little, for all these men will be loyal to the nation, and they will be rewarded for their efforts. Absolutely. Now, which group here has more, uh... Well, actually, paternal autocrats. Paternal autocrats. Yeah, I like each other. We like both groups, but... We're gonna go with Haiti first. Just so that we have something to do here. And go here. Because he can. This too. Yeah, we definitely need to keep working on our economy here. It's pretty bad, to be honest with you. Pretty darn bad. We need more civvies. Faith, the West Indies Federation, after a long campaign, a good portion of the Caribbean region is now under our control. We must see what we do with them. Nope. Mo Law of motherhood. In nature, females stay out of officials of males, or affairs of males, but today this is not the case. To have a healthy society, we must have a female population that specializes in producing the next generation and rearing and organizing families. Millions of families lack the warm, nurturing mothers who need to raise children. God, ain't that true. These were the types of mothers that existed a mere century ago. We must restore the state of affairs. We will honor women for their ancient roles as mothers, wives, and most importantly, as the authors of good people. What are the five laws? That's where the consumer goes, but you know what? For the society we're building, that's okay. I'm actually really okay with that. Good, right there. It's good, good, good. American truth. Very nice. We will, we will reverse the decay just a little bit as well. But we really got to rebuild the country. Uh, Counterterrorism. That's be good. Minus 10%. Ooh. Factory output. I need to get some civvies. We'll do corporate patriotism. If corporations are to be allowed to be part of the nation, then let them be patriotic. We'll coordinate with corporate leaders to invest in rebuilding the nation and enact protectionism to keep state-approved corporations relevant to defense and the economy to more easily create public work projects. Now, let's think, this campaign is not going to last long, as I've already said. But, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be long enough for what we need. Play as good old George Lincoln Rockwell, because one of my uh, subscribers kept mentioning that I should. And you know what? I agree. We have any naval bombers? We have normal bombers, we normally don't have that many of. You know what? Since you're here, you can get one too. 
Are we good to go? Oh, you both of the puppet. Ah, oh, interesting. Let's see if we can actually invade successfully. I don't know if we can or not. But we're here to see and learn. Can we actually win? Maybe not. What do we force the attack? Now, there's a lot of guys here, which is not pretty good. Obviously, we don't want to invade with motorize either, but whatever. Once we win here and we attack Port of Prince, we should do okay. Should, in theory. Oh, what's happening? Ah, the Third International must be dead. The Union of Bridge probably capitulated, thus capitulating the entire faction. I apologize for the lag, and... Come on. I apologize for the lag once again. It's just... Sometimes when you play Hoi 4, all it does is lag. And actually, there's a peace conference probably with uh, the Anton as well. And I was correct that it was, uh, uh, and it's still happening, that countries are being released right now as we're slowly trying to win here, and we got them. Uh, there goes the Republic of Haiti. Very good. That was actually very, very costly, but you know what? Whatever. Sometimes victory has a price. Oh, the German Empire, the French Kingdom, of course, Brittany, uh, England, Wales, Oscar, Ireland, Scotland. So, pretty normal stuff. Uh, Wallonia well, is there too. Huh. Oh, Italy did win. I guess there's now one Italy and then the Germans, uh... Oh, there goes Spain. Oh, that's disgusting. Why'd you take that? Of all things to take. Oh, why'd you release two Sicilies? Why did the French take take that? You know what? I'm gonna... Can we... Ah, uh, I can't use State Chester 2 mod in this version of Kaiser Redux. That's right. So I was gonna, like, give the French state... This give back to, like, Italy and stuff. Give this to, like, Spain. and Give the southern portion of this to the French over here, but whatever. Why are they killing these guys? Belgrade Pact. Ah, Dona Edria Bone is doing that. When is Moscow going to do something? Social conservatives, man. What are they actually conserved? Santo Domingo. We build in the country and, of course, go for port patriotism. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Are you guys actually allied with anybody? Yeah, you are. You're in the Reich's Pact. Well, we'll see about taking them out. Alrighty. Holy crap, we need a lot of chromium. Cuba, uh, South Africa, Illyria, da 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 Deutsche Mill, Africa. Hmm. Turkey. Russian Republic, we'll go with them. Uh, attack cells, guards, Guiana. Jamaica, Trinidad, Tibet. So if you wonder about this one, please go ahead. And the fit of Dominican Republic, as well as Haiti, and Jamaica, and Guyana. Whatever. It is what it is. So that's ours now. Oh, hello. Army reforms, chairman, socialist breadbasket. The Dutch are down there. These guys, are they allied with each other? They are allied with each other. What if we were to do that? And what if we were to add three more escort cruisers? That'd be very nice. Public Works Administrations, yes please. The ability to generate electricity, transport water, and ensure safe and efficient travel is lost during the Civil War. With the Public Works Administration, we'll fix all that. So upon that, we'll ensure contractors pay their employees fairly. And yes, they will. So right now, the National Destiny, that's not bad. That's actually very good. All the extra manpower, oh, so nice. Uh, five laws, very good. Uh, nice propaganda. Christian education, of course. Organized social resistance, which we got to crush. Um, no nothing, black laws, white welfare, mob activity, ah, academic aftermath, we still have minus 30% right now, which sucks. It's very not good for us. Um, yeah, you guys are next, so, is it going to really take that long? Holy crap, that takes a long, long, long time. Oh, well, you could do the ego spreads the wings. It's only a week to take this focus. With our major goals fulfilled, let us secure the final resources we need in South America for a powerful America that will never be free from want. we got to think about our people here. Limited exports. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that one next. I'm going to press for Greenland as well. Oh, that's much better. Much better so far. Can you guys not win down here? What is wrong with you all? 51,000 have died, and you know what? That's okay. It's just all, we call it a cleaning up campaign. Cleaning up campaign, yeah. <coughs> I like this guy, the campaign. And there goes the Pope. He's been shot. 
And the Balkans are a mess, but what else is new? Destiny of the Anglo World. Well, kind of can't do that one right now. Um, we'll do a lot of the stuff off screen as well, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's come up here. Public Works Administration, yes, please. Now we can go to war with you guys. Do we want to go to war with you guys? In all honesty? Probably, yeah. Can you actually break out? You might not be able to. And you know what? That's okay. What if we said half of you guys come here? Debate them into coming into here. After public works, so military factories, munitions factories, and armors reported a large loss of stock to theft as well as difficulty competing with foreign competition. We can fix the first without infringing the Second Amendment with a tariff on imposed arms. Oh, Central America, thank you for playing. That one division hold out here, huh? It's fine. Nice. Uh, fifth carrier, we'll just combine everyone into one massive group first. I'll see what we do about that afterwards. We need way more already. Holy crud. Alright. Are they not attacking us? What's wrong with them? Oh, hello. Look at all this. Oh. So I don't build too many screens. Ah, now they're attacking us. Good. Beta Centro Automatica. Liberatum? Military occupation. And just in case we don't have to. We got more than enough political power. Ah, Costa Rica. And these guys do have logistic companies on them, even though we could improve them even further, but whatever. We'll get there. Especially after the Public Works Administration and military factories. Um, reconstruction is over. Getting down here is not bad. But with that, another research level would be good. But by then, the campaign is pretty much over, but whatever. Let them keep attacking us, please. Please. Ah, oh, they took over that area, too, whatever. Um. <coughs> Very good. Ah, encircled. And dead. We could send in the army. Um. Eh, why not? Screw it. We can. Because we can. Because we are worth it, my friends. Our people are worth it. Counter Chasm wouldn't be bad either. You know what, let's go ahead and do 35 days, counterterrorism. Let's do this one first. And then counterterrorism. Well, the terrorists, wherever they may be organized, or maybe the organization, the State Bureaus of Information, National Bureau of Information, and how it focuses on hunting the terrorists throughout this nation. Be very nice. There we go. We need a lot of that, and that's fine. Uh, get some better planes here. Way less now. Ah, oh, it's over river, isn't it? Ah. Well, that's the case. Ah, oh, they're still attacking us. Can you guys actually win down here? Probably not. Alright, that's okay. You guys are struggling down here, which does suck, so you're gonna stop wasting lives. And half of you guys, or really good smaller portion, will go from here to invade right there. Because another half of you guys will go from same place, but go over there. Let you guys leave. Put in a port right here, at least level one. Suffering from supply issues, whatever. 23,000 have died, whatever. Let them continue attacking us for now, whatever. And. They have like no organization, which is fine. They also have a convoy, which is good. 
Any other ships? Ah, another battle, dr dr battle cruiser? No, Dreadnought. I love Dreadnoughts. Uh, you know what? Increase by two, because you can. Military no, factories. And the counterterrorism would be nice as well. And I'll finish this part of the focus tree probably in the next episode. America for Christians. Fighting crime. Fi oh, look at this one. Follow the founders. Ooh. Ah, uh, two more. Ah, they're actually taking notes. Look at that. Go figure. Counterterrorism. Men and men crushed. When the men and men are finished with the AFB's militia collapsing and their men either retreating or facing reprisal from our men, they're finished and our people can rest easy. This force of hooligans will no longer terrorize them. Supplies can move with ease and soldiers have one less to worry about their, in their lives. Beautiful. We begin reconstruction. Civil war has blasted our country to pieces. Large parts of the world of the country are not but mud and ashes, while countless cities have been reduced to smolder and rubble. We'll just have to work developing new housing and infrastructure as soon as possible. Boy, they're really trying now. They're really trying. Go ahead. Oh, there goes those guys. Nice. Ah, oh, there's four divisions over here. Okay. You know, at this point, too, since we've got probably quite a few more factories to use. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. Wait, oh, 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 how are you losing this much? Come on. There we go. That's good. Start spreading out like that. And start getting way more supplies that way, too. Over here, it's still three divisions. Ooh. Almost another naval stop, which is good. And... I'm going about that. Please go right ahead. Her work makes us all proud. No, stay there. It's fine, it's fine. Do Admin, El Almon, 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 whatever your face is. He's spoiling us just a little bit, not good. Now, if you can't win there, that's okay. We can maybe still win here. Improved artillery upgrades, nice. Get even more. Force it. You might just be able to win. One division, basically fighting only one division, which isn't good. Uh, we did all this stuff already. Overwhelming firepower, breakthrough. Let's go with breakthrough. Should be able to win there, maybe. And begin reconstruction. Because we have so much political power, we must start using it, right? Right. You know what, since you're here, I'm going to throw you guys all here, too. Really help out. Go. Spread out. Republican Bureau of Investigations. Republican Bureau. Why would be a Republican Bureau? You know, we are authoritarian republic, I guess. Uh, punish a corrupt and treacherous. Reconciliation. Punish a corrupt and treacherous. Uh, Congress decided us in condemning these companies that betray the American people. Less than majority shareholders and traders' companies have been seized and executive, executive officers of companies that have been exploited workers behind the facade of government are now on trial. Yeah, we're losing a lot of guys, but we got plenty of manpower. It's fine. Oh, there's some serious slack. Guards, red guards on the last leg. If you want to build that, please go ahead. Nice. Oh, we actually lost some stuff there. That's not good, though. Ah, I can take out Venezuela pretty quickly doing it like this. And there they go. Venezuela should capitulate. Yes, they should. And now we might be able to do something else here, too. Good, 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 good. Fall of Vladivostok. Oh, Transumir is about to die. Good head of intelligence. Yes, please. Conservatives unite Russia. Uh, 
I forgot about tanks. Oh crap. Whatever. Former department. Yes, please. Nice. <clears throat> Lost 82,000, which is kind of insane, but whatever. Ah, Vincent Smith. Begin reconstruction. Punch those companies. Go ahead and start rebuilding everything here. Let's do New England first, because we can. Yeah, we can do that too, because we probably need it on all honesty. National Farm Bureau, not bad, but losing restrictions or regulations. The dual layer federal government system would allow for at times very loose regulations on workspace practice depending on the state. In order to leverage this inherent balance in the government, we must also allow businesses both large and small to thrive. Absolutely. There we go, we finally got him. Pop it, no. Nah. What we want to do, huh, we're not going to pop it anybody here. You struggled greatly in this war, man. No disappointed in you, son. Do not disappoint us again. You did fan flippin' tastic. So you might go to war with the Dutch still, we'll see. Let's see if we have to go to Cuba. Maybe. Ah, full front line here. Okay. Cool. That barely helps with the supply up, just a little bit, but not too much. Monarch store in Greece, it's fine. Train. Where you guys at train? Where you guys at train? You guys train as well. And then you guys are actually gonna come down to or Brazil. Because all I care about is Americas. Right now. Uh, cryptology. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty good. Colombia, Panama. We're going to about these. Uh, Colombia, please go ahead. Venezuela, please go ahead. As well as Panama. Nope. And of course, we'll do loosening restrictions and then uh, Civil Works Administration. That is a nation. America allows a great deal of its labor supply to fighting in the poverty of the disorganized Federalists. The leaders push an executive order authorizing the creation of an agency to, uh, to employ manual laborers, fill out the spaces, and employment for NRA projects. Agricultural exports. Farmers in our nation have long been damaged by war, yes. Before that, they were damaged by tariffs and that made it difficult to export farm goods. Left in trade restrictions and negotiating lower tariffs with other nations would give them some more income. And that's not bad. For the rural electrification? Electricity network throughout the country was regressed to that of the 1910s. As an American, we need to ensure that our constituents can be properly informed about our nation's glory. Building grants. Smaller townships across America have no recourse if their need is slightly less than the threshold for contract work. Our remedy is a building grant based off Ford Foundation. This allows communities to show proper need and return on investment for contract work in the National Farm Bureau. Our farmers need a more efficient means of communicating their needs to the government and vice versa. We'll create and encourage membership in the National Farm Bureau and more easily coordinate with them. And we'll also do what... Uh, Pacific Fleet? We gain nothing from going to the east and starting fights when we need to consolidate the west, especially when Japan remains a solid ally who, like us, simply tempted to end cynicism and protect its people. Despite not all of us being comfortable with their race and culture, an agreement of sorts will serve both sides well and uh, consolidate southern holdings. We need to hold on to our southern holdings in Central America, no easy task when rebels seek to destroy us despite the cause of having lost in them, simply being ruled over as laws of the nation's dictates. A military campaign to weed out radicals and build more apples to centralize our control. Cool. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode where we will uh, pretty much check out all of South America, maybe even start more wars here in the Americas. Thanks for watching, have a great, 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 great rest of your day.